Welcome back to Survivor-ish. The first four players have been eliminated from the game. All of them were three-time Survivor-ish veterans. Paul. I intend to make it into that final. I'm going to win the 400 bucks. And Jason. So close. Were eliminated by Toby, who has dubbed himself the Eliminator. Janelle was eliminated by Kevin. This is my year to This is your myself. third time. And Chandra went down to James. Defeated. The Hemlock Tribe has dominated in the challenges. The new Hemlock Tribe is made up of players who have shown themselves to be competitors. Lucian, Mike, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kevin, and Chad. Over at Arbutus, John has joined the tribe after Chandra's elimination. This game is really just, until we get to the merge and there's more strategy, yeah. it's just about getting to the next step. From the start of the game, John has been the target of suspicion. Jonathan's kind of sneaky. I took on my boyfriend's 40th birthday. And he must now try to fit into the tight-knit alliance of Nick, James, and Christian. Returning winner. Yes. There's a lot of a, a lot of pressure on you. Back to retake that crown. What is your strategy this time around? Just pray and hope for the best. <laughs> I'm gonna play a smart game, not ah. a physical game. And the new third tribe is Sequoia. Sequoia is made up of all former Arbutus members. Returning champion Aaron, Sarah, Blair, and Toby. Hopefully, can survive for a couple hours and and make it a good uh, a good day. Toby wins! Toby the Eliminator. I'm just here to challenge myself. Just looking forward to giving it a good shot. Can any of the eliminated veterans manage to return to the game? Will the Hemlock Tribe continue to win the immunity challenges? And will Toby live up to his nickname, The Eliminator? Let's find out. In this unpredictable game, it is important to have allies, but it is even more important to have immunity. For the next immunity challenge, the tribes must stack six blocks on a board that they suspend in the air with ropes. The first two tribes to finish win immunity, and the losers go to tribal council. Survivors ready. <laughs> go. Yeah. Hemlock has three blocks. When you've got all six up and your person's back, I want you to count loudly down from three. All the tribes have three blocks. Eliminated players have four. Sequoia going for number five. Hemlock is on their sixth block. Sequoia's down, they gotta start again. Hemlock wins it! Drop it! Drop it! Eliminated players, you are out of this game. No one wants to be the yeah. first to let go. Yeah. Yeah. Looking for a second place. Oh, it's all, it's all oh, it's start over. Sequoia going for number five again. James with the fourth for Arbutus. Oh, and over it goes. Sequoia starting again. Arbutus on their final block. Super slow. No rush at all. Arbutus is back. Three, two, one. And they got it. Great job, Arbutus. Sequoia was so close. Sequoia heading to Tribal Council. <laughs> the Arbutus tribe narrowly defeated Sequoia for second place, sending Sequoia to Tribal Council. We don't have footage of this Tribal Council, but here's what happened. Each player voted for another member of the tribe. Those votes were randomly picked out of the urn. Each player who was picked was safe. The safe players are Sarah and Blair. That means for the third time, Toby is up for elimination. His opponent, Aaron. 
last year's winner, who defeated 19 other players to earn the title of Soul Survivorish. Aaron, Soul Survivor! Yes! You probably got a big target on your back. Uh, I would assume so, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, Woo. Awesome. Way One more go. challenge. Yeah. For this elimination challenge, the players must go through the course and bring back two targets using the grappling hook. Will Aaron defend his title? Or can Toby pull off another upset against a veteran player? Do it. Go! Toby's over the beam. Aaron's over the beam. Toby's got one. Aaron's got one. Aaron's all tangled up. They both have it. Pick up your targets and run back to the start with them. Both targets. You don't need your grappling hook. Keep going, keep going. Both your targets with you. <laughs> Toby wins it! In a photo finish, the eliminator, Toby, has won his third elimination challenge. That means Aaron has been eliminated from the game. Aaron, how are you feeling? Uh, disappointing. Yeah. He will now join the other eliminated players to compete for redemption. Toby, how do you feel? Woo. Third elimination challenge won. Yeah, call me eliminator. <laughs> While Toby remains in the game, he has yet to receive any votes of support at Tribal Council. No, I don't know anybody, actually. <laughs> How long can he survive without any allies? Toby's Sequoia tribe is down in the numbers. With only three members left, can Toby, Blair, and Sarah pull off a win? It's your first time at Survivorish? It is my first time. And what is your strategy for today? Um... You know, outwit, outlay, outwit, outplay, outlast. Oh, that's a that's a that's a great motto to have. <laughs> Do you know many of the other players? I don't. I kind of don't know what to expect, so I'm excited about everything. Yeah, I'm just just looking forward to giving it a good shot. The elimination okay. circle. So Sarah, I hope I don't end up in there. Are you excited for today? Um, I don't know if I'm excited or nervous. I think it's a little bit of both. Okay. Um, what are you most excited about? Um, winning. Winning, okay. Yeah, beating um, Christian. Do I sound very convinced of that fact? Uh, somewhat. I feel like, you know, I'm trying to just go for the one-two finish, trying to get into the competitive spirit. Um, but truly, I'm just here to challenge myself and have fun. For the next immunity challenge, the tribes race through a gauntlet of six different stages. While we have footage of most of it, it's a bit of a mess, so enjoy this montage instead. Once again, the Hemlock tribe was leading the challenge with Arbutus close behind. We got James and John on the puzzle for Arbutus, Chad and Kevin doing the puzzle for Hemlock. However, the tribes got tripped up on the final puzzle, which had five pieces, but no clear solution. Even so, the eliminated players found themselves trailing the other tribes. Ah! It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Look how hard the puzzle is. We got it! Oh, yeah! Is that there the square, guys? Yeah. Good job. That is not a square, I'm sorry. That is not a square. Unbelievable! Yeah. Oh, oh that's... Yeah. Yep. In the end, the eliminated players caught up, and Chandra and Jason yeah. solved the puzzle first. The eliminated players won immunity. This means the game has been flipped on its head. Now all players will go to Tribal Council, where four will be selected for the elimination challenge. Two players will be eliminated. Then the eliminated players will compete in the redemption challenge to re-enter the game. Again, four of you will be picked for elimination. So choose wisely with your voting. 
Let's get going, everybody turn around. James, you're up first. Everyone, please enter the elimination zone. It's gonna be tight. Before I read the votes, if anyone wants to play a hidden immunity idol, now is your opportunity to do so. I'm gonna do it again. Ha <laughs> ha, John! Do you find the bag or something? So the reason I'm doing this is because my disadvantage means I have to get two votes to stay in the game. So, so odds are bad, so. All right. This now is the disadvantage is over. The disadvantage is going to count for one more round. No, no, no read the instructions. For the next three rounds. Five, yeah, six, and seven. it only counts one time. It says for one tribal council. Let's use. The next time yeah. your name is read out. So you are saving yourself this time, but... I don't think that's what the instructions say. Uh -oh. I think he wrote them. The first time your name... At the next tribal council you attend... But keep reading. The first time your name is pulled out from the urn, it does not count. If you go to tribal council more than once, the disadvantage only affects you the first time. Okay. Please see the host. Fair enough. I was not clear with the rules. That was not the intention, but I've been lawyered. So there we go. <laughs> Fair enough. Disadvantage over. Uh, all right, here we go. First name. Four of you will be selected for elimination, just to be clear. Peacock, you are safe. You can leave the elimination zone. Uh, Mike, you're safe. I found it like Chicken, Christian is safe. Fucka fucka! Where? You're safe. Don't fuck me over, babe. Chad, you're safe. She didn't fuck you over. I will read one more name. That person will be safe. James, oh, you're safe. That means Lucian, Nick, Toby, and Kevin are up for elimination. While players can fight for a vote, in the end it comes down to luck of the draw. Lucian, Kevin, and Nick all had votes of support in the urn, but they weren't picked. What are you most looking forward to today? Um, the pizza, lunch. I feel like I'm a little bit competitive myself. Yeah. Awesome. I need to win more. I do need to do a little bit more physical game. Oh, but you do a physical game in the past. Yeah, but I need to actually win. Okay, well... <laughs> While Toby once again received zero votes of support. And what is your game plan for today? Uh, mostly have fun. He has so far been unstoppable in the elimination challenges. Can he do it again? And the five eliminated players will compete to re-enter the game. Who will get their redemption? Let's start with the elimination challenge. Getting comfortable. Yeah. Here's what's gonna happen. You're each gonna be given a dowel oh, no. and a tennis ball. Oh, oh, oh. You will balance the dow the tennis ball on the end of the dowel with one foot raised in the air. By the time I I reach zero, you have to have your ball on the dowel and one foot in the air. Three. Two, get your feet in the air. One, zero. Oh. Just like that, Lucian and Kevin are out of the game. Neither Lucian nor Kevin had a ball on their dowel at the beginning of the challenge, while Nick and Toby did. Zero. Uh, Nick God. and Toby Thank survived. God. It was a close call, but Nick survived the elimination challenge. And Toby won for the fourth time. Now, the Redemption Challenge, where an eliminated player will re-enter the game. Chandra's out. Jason's out. Look out, everyone. Let's... Aaron is out. It's Paul or Janelle.
And they're settling in. Uh, my main strategy is to not get sunburned. Okay. That's that's number one. And just to go as hard out, as full out as I can, and try and beat some of these really athletic guys. As Janelle re-enters the game, Kevin, who eliminated her in round three, finds himself on the wrong side of the elimination challenge. And Lucian must now rely on his fighting spirit to get himself back in the game. With only two more chances for the eliminated players to re-enter the game, can either of them seize the opportunity? There is one round left before the tribes merge into one and Survivorish becomes an individual game. The players are given another twist. The tribes are swapped again, and the outcast has returned. The new Sequoia tribe is made up of all original Arbutus members, Nick, Sarah, and Toby. The new Hemlock tribe is made up of all original Hemlock members, James, Christian, and Janelle, who has just returned to the game after winning redemption. And the new Arbutus tribe is made up of close allies Blair, John, and Chad. Chad has shown himself to be a powerful member of the Hemlock tribe. Can he work the same magic on Arbutus? Is this your first time doing Survivorish? Yes. I am excited for today, yes. And what is your strategy for today? Um, to win. To win, okay. And what are you going to do to do that? I need to find some clues and some hidden immunity uh, things. Okay. This time Mike is the outcast. He is safe and cannot be eliminated this round, but he risks receiving a disadvantage in the game. If the new Arbutus tribe wins immunity, Mike will avoid the disadvantage. What is your strategy for today? Oh, strategy, that's a good question. Um, try to make as many friends as possible yeah. and then destroy them. <laughs> <laughs> this is your first time playing? It is, yeah. So what are you looking forward to today? Um, I'm looking forward to winning a lot of prizes, um, not getting kicked out, and yeah. just having a great time. The eliminated players have been divided into two groups of three for this next challenge. If they can beat all other tribes, then those three players will compete to re-enter the game. In this next immunity challenge, one player is the caller and the other two players are blindfolded. The caller must direct their tribe mates to pick up four blocks and a dowel. They then use the dowel to transport the blocks up the hill. Finally, they solve a puzzle by stacking the blocks so all four colors are visible on each side. Survivors ready. Go! Come back, come back, come back, come back. All the way over here, all the way over here, drop it. All the way, all the way, all the way, drop it. Okay, turn around. It's literally like right on your uh, left foot, left foot. Lucien, Lucien, left foot, left foot. Yeah, okay, Chandra, uh, both of you to the left, to the left, to the left, to the left. No, no, you're left, you're left. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, drop it, drop it. Okay, uh, turn right. Someone took our other one. Hey, hey! Someone took our other one. Oh, there's only four. Oh, sure. So you need your dowel. You need your dowel. Oh, sorry, Tick off your fingers. Stand right there, right there, down. Okay, come back, come back, come back, come back. Eliminated players are falling behind. Yeah, yeah, you can take another four. Yeah, okay. Maybe you want to make No. No, we keep on going up. And every team is now carrying their blocks up the hill. Good. Four. Are you good? <coughs> Hemlock on the puzzle. Capital. Oh. So this side's two. No, two, two orange blues. up top here. Oh, or no, that's not. That's right. Is it? No, there's two orange oh, on the side. No, no, two yellows. yellows. Oh, so this is. Right. Yeah. No, two blacks on this side. Take that out. Yeah, 
The eliminated players have won the immunity challenge, once again turning the game upside down. All players will go to Tribal Council, where four are picked for the elimination challenge and two are eliminated. Then, Paul, Kevin, and Aaron will compete to re-enter the game. But first, Tribal Council. Christian, you're up first. <laughs> Please enter the elimination zone. If anyone wishes to play a hidden immunity <laughs> idol, now is your time to do so. No one, all right. I'll read the votes. First vote. Chicken, Christian, is safe. You can leave the elimination zone. Always clucking. Janelle. It's safe. Yeah. You can leave the elimination zone. Chad, safe. You can leave the elimination zone. James, you're safe. You can leave the elimination zone. One more player will be safe. The other four will compete in the elimination challenge. The last player who is safe is Sarah. You're safe. That means Blair, John, Nick, and Toby are up for elimination. While some players received votes, the selection came down to luck of the draw. John, Blair, and Chad made an alliance, with John voting for Blair, Blair voting for Chad, and Chad for John. But neither John nor Blair were picked, and they must compete in the elimination challenge. I kind of don't know what to expect, so I'm excited about everything. And so as long as they can get to the next step, then we're... So what we're are you going to... Although they were in an alliance, Nick did not receive a vote from Christian. He did, however, get Toby's vote of support. But either way, he was not picked. And this two-time Survivorish veteran will now compete in his second elimination challenge. And somewhat unsurprisingly, Toby received no votes of support and is up for elimination for the fifth time. The Eliminator must live up to his name once again if he is to make it deep in this game. Here's how the challenge is going to work. Each of you has a beam upon which you will stand. You're going to stand on the beam with one foot. You're then going to take one dowel and hold it against your head with the rounded edge of the other. And you're going to balance here. If you put your foot down or if you lose your dowel, you're out. Four, three, two, one, feet are up. This challenge is on. Teetering. Blair is out. And Toby is out. They're both in. Oh, we just You win. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, Toby and Blair are out. Blair has been eliminated in his first elimination challenge. and Toby's impressive winning streak has come to an end. Despite eliminating five other competitors, the Eliminator has been eliminated. Now Kevin, Aaron, and Paul One, face off up. in the Redemption Challenge. This challenge is on. Petering. Kevin is out. Oh. Paul is out. Aaron, back in the game, just like that. Aaron has re-entered the game. Can this returning champion keep the momentum, or will he be out sooner rather than later? And for Nick and John, surviving the elimination challenge means they have made it to the merge. Can either of them stay out of the elimination zone?
It's now time for the merge. The players are now on one tribe, and it is an individual game. One more major twist has been thrown at the players. The voting rules have changed. At Tribal Council, players will now vote against each other. The two players with the most votes are up for elimination. All 16 players will compete in this first individual immunity challenge. This is the final chance for eliminated players to re-enter the game. After this round, redemption is over, and when a player is out, they are out for good. The players must hold a dowel between their knee and elbow for as long as they can. The last player standing wins. If an eliminated player can beat all of the other players, they re-enter the game. Because Mike chose the wrong tribe to win the last immunity challenge, he must start this challenge one minute before everyone else. Can a survivorish endurance challenge last longer than 15 seconds? Who will come out on top? This challenge is on. You cannot touch the dowel. You cannot touch your body with your leg that's in the air. Here we go. Mike's, Mike's in this. Solid as a rock. If you're not up in position when I count down, you are out of this challenge. So please don't talk. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Do not touch your body with your leg. Do not touch the dowel. If an eliminated player wins, they are back in the game. James is out. <laughs> Take my picture! Gotcha, Stop it! Before we fall! How do I make myself work? Boyfriend's 40th birthday. It's my boyfriend's this. 40th birthday. <laughs> he needs this. Oh, Mike's out. Aaron is out. This hurts a lot more than I thought it would. Yeah. <laughs> you see it, and that's out. Is you it? made that drop. You made that move. Sorry. What? You made the, sh oh, the fabric move. Yeah. Kevin is out. So I'm going to go to CrossFit this morning. <laughs> <laughs> we lost four out of the 16. Well, relax. Great job, everybody. Fighting hard. This is not as easy as it looks. <laughs> it's not easy at all. Oh, and Mike is nice. out. Good job, Mike. Damn. We are three minutes in. <laughs> Jason is out. Good job. Sarah is out. Nick is out. Fighting. Mm -hmm. John is out. I wet my nose. Down to Paul. I wiped Chad. Oh, Chandra. it's doing two. For Paul and Chandra, a chance to get back in this game. Chad and Janelle will be safe at Tribal Council. One of them wins. You're sweating. Chandra, it's you. Paul, great showing. Well done. We're almost at 12 minutes now. Well, Jesus fucking Christ. I'm gonna be paralyzed. But you'll have $400. Yeah. Make exactly. up for it. All right. Drop it. Deep breaths, breathe. Five, 
Breathe through that pain. Oh my god. So much pain. Good up. Keep digging. Keep digging. Come on. Almost oh. at 17 minutes. Chandra. Seconds shy of 17 minutes. Oh my God. It's down to Janelle and Chad for immunity. When we hit 20, we're gonna do a tiebreaker. <laughs> you wanna work together? Uh-uh. <laughs> I'm pretty good, actually. Oh. I think. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I think. We'll I've got see. some things in the works. What what what's in the works? What well, do you got? I can't say it right oh, now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, you can rest. After 20 minutes, the challenge was declared a tie. Janelle and Chad must now settle the immunity challenge with a head-to-head -head tiebreaker challenge, which we unfortunately forgot to film. Of the two, Janelle came out on top and won the first individual immunity hey, challenge. You earned it. Nice you yeah, earned it. You Janelle is safe and cannot be eliminated at this next tribal council. The other players are now looking for their own route to safety. And again, talk turns to hidden advantages. Damn, yeah. Where are people finding these things? One was on top of an umbrella. That was an immunity Ooh. challenge. Nice. And then the other one I got was in that cat head. In the cat head. The cat head? Hey, like, oh, it showed up at one point. Like, I always check there. Yeah, I've been checking there again. I'm glad I thought to look there. It was like in between when it was nothing. I was checking the umbrella all the time too. Yeah. I thought it would there would be one. In there. It was when we had just won a reward. I I don't know if Christian saw me grab it. I didn't see you grab it. No. Oh, you were like have, right beside. These me. things have been non-existent in my entire Survivor-ish experience. <laughs> like you never find them. I or? never find them. Oh. I didn't place them when I was helping out. I'm really aware of the garbage on the ground since I've been looking for those things and never finding them. It's now time for tribal council. The voting has changed. Now that it is an individual game, the players vote against each other. The two players with the most votes are up for elimination. And John, the time for it. how are you feeling? Do you feel nervous about this tribal council? Uh, I think it's always important to be nervous. Uh, <laughs> it's important what? to be nervous. It drives it's, your strategy. Yeah, you, yeah, like, you should. You should always be scary because you never know what people are saying behind your back. Mm, do you think anyone's saying anything behind your back? Well, I think the people who are like being very aggressive behind my back are all gone, so it's... So you feel sort of safe? Uh, I feel... I feel 90% unsafe because it's always better to be, feel more unsafe. Chad, you almost won immunity. I did almost. How does that feel? To just miss it by a hair? Oh, it sucks. Yeah. Yes. Has it affected Thanks for bringing gonna... that up. I appreciate <laughs> it. Is it going to affect how you approach travel council today? Um, no. No. All right. It is true. Sarah, do you feel safe at this travel council, or do you I feel at risk? I don't even know where I am right now. Like, <laughs> survivor -ish. How did I get here? <laughs> I don't even know where I am. I'm just Thunder. having a fun time. Sunny. Yeah. <laughs> All right. With that, everyone, turn around. It's time to vote. Christian, you're up first. Players, turn around. It's time to read the votes. If you have a hidden immunity idol and you wish to play it, now is the time to do so. Remember, you can only play your idols when there are seven people left. When there's six left, you can't play them anymore. How many are left now? There are nine players left right now. I'll play mine. And I'll play mine. <laughs> Give another one. Mike and John. These are in individual hidden immunity idols. You're both safe. Any votes no, cast against you will not count. Oh, there's nine. I can't count. I'll read the votes. The top two vote getters are up for elimination. First vote James. Christian. One vote, James. One vote, chicken. 
Chad. Oh. One vote, Chad. One vote, James. One vote, Chicken. Nick. Oh. One vote, Nick. One vote, Chad. One vote, Chicken. One vote, James. Aaron. Oh, yeah. <laughs> one. Well, Aaron. That's two votes, Aaron. Aaron. Three votes, Aaron. Aaron. Four votes, Aaron. One vote left. Aaron. Five votes, Aaron. One, James. One, James. So Nick, Chad, Chicken, and James, I'm going to put your names back in the urn. I'll pick one. That person is competing against Aaron in the elimination challenge. Aaron, if you could enter the elimination zone, please. If I call it, when I call your name, please enter the elimination zone and prepare for the elimination challenge against Aaron. Here we go. The player who's up for elimination is Chicken. <laughs> Best two out of three, tug of war. Oh, oh, wow. Sarah, Christian, Chad, Nick, and James banded together to vote for Aaron. While their plan worked, it remains to be seen whether these players will stick together. And John cast the lone vote against Christian, which put him up for elimination. Now Christian, the winner of Survivorish Season 1, will face off in the Elimination Challenge against Aaron, the winner of Season 2. In the Battle of the Champions, who will emerge Survivor's victorious? ready! Go! Kind of fucked. In our first injury, Aaron has ripped his hand in the tug of war competition. But like a true competitor, he is ready to soldier on. Given that his skin was literally hanging off his hand, the decision was made to cancel the tug of war and hold a different challenge. Aaron and Christian must knock over two buckets and knock two cups off of the poles using a frisbee. First to finish stays in the game. The loser is out with no chance at redemption. For elimination. Champion versus champion, go! You don't have to do that. Make sure you're... Aaron's still going, make sure you're behind the line. Christian's got one. Yeah! <laughs> Christian has eliminated Aaron. Just one round after winning his redemption and re-entering the game, Aaron is out. Eight players remain. Now that the players are voting to eliminate each other, who will rise to the top? Find out next time on the exciting conclusion of Survivorish.